Thank you very much. As stated earlier, you're welcome to the 78th inaugural lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture, Berkuta. And the lecture is to be delivered by Professor Enoch Olubringa Olade Kudari, a professor of nanotechnology. And the lecture is titled, Nanotechnology, the Size Powered Avenger of the 21st Century Technological Revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, Dear distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem, please. Thank you very much. May we all be seated, please. Thank you very much.
First and foremost, we sincerely apologize for the minor glitch in the electricity, which was attributed to force major. And we are very, we sincerely apologize for it. Thank you very much. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, you are highly welcome once again to the 78th inaugural lecture, lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abe Akuta. And the lecture is to be delivered by Professor Enoch Olubenga Oladeko Dare, a professor of nanotechnology. And the lecture is titled Nanotechnology, the size powered harbinger of the 21st century technological revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, I, it is my honor to, to introduce to you today the vice chancellor and the chairman of this lecture, Professor Olushola Babatunde Kende, a fellow of the Genetic Society of Nigeria, FGSN, and fellow Institute of Health and Safety, FIHS. Please let's give him a resounding applause. Thank you very much. We have on the high table today, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Christian Ekeobi. Please let's put our hands together for him. Thank you very much. The Deputy Vice Chancellor of Development is Professor Kola Adebayo. Please let's put our hands together for him. The Registrar, Dr. Bola Adekola, FCIA, FCIDA. Please let's put our hands together for him. We have on the other side of the divide, the Bossa, Mr. Chukunwike Ezek Pehazu. Please let's put our hands together for him. The university librarian is with us, and there's no other person than Dr. Abayomi Owolabi. Let's give him a round of applause. The chairman, committee of deans and directors, CODAD, and the Co dean, College of Veterinary Medicine, Professor Adebayo Akinloye. Please let's put our hands together for him. We have the Dean College of Physical Sciences, Kofis, Professor Adjo Akinwale. Thank you very much. We also have the Head of Department of Chemistry, Prof <laughs> Professor Sharif Adewi. Thank you very much, great Funabites. Most of us must have read about the Industrial Revolution of the 18th and the 19th, which got us into the mid of the 20th century, which has also dovetailed into the technological revolution and has given rise to digital revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, Dear distinguished guests, it is, this has, however, given birth to the rise of miniaturization of most gadgets and technological tools. Now, we have nanotechnology. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to introduce to you the university's 78th inaugural lecturer a professor of nanotechnology from the Department of Chemistry, College of Physical Sciences, COVID, Professor Enoch Olubenga Oladepo Dare, with a lecture titled Nanotechnology, the size powered harbinger of the 21st century technological revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's give him a resounding applause. Let's give the inaugural lecturer a resounding applause, please.
At this moment, may I have the permission of the Vice Chancellor to recognize the presence of other deans here present, directors, heads of departments and units, and members of family of the inaugural lecturer. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, may I respectfully invite the Vice Chancellor of our great university to <laughs> Professor Olushola Babatunde Kende to officially present the 78th inaugural lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abiyakuta. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. You may please have your seat, distinguished colleagues. Please have your seats. Um, these are my introductory remarks at the 78th inaugural lecture to be delivered by Professor Enoch Olubenga Olade Podare, titled Nanotechnology, the size-powered harbinger of the 21st century technological revolution. This day, Wednesday, June 21st, 2023, may I invite Professor E. Odare to please stand up beside me here and remain standing. Thank you. Thank you. The Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Development, the Registrar, the Bursar, the University Librarian, the inaugural lecturer, Professor Inoko Lubengaola de Podari, the Dean, College of Physical Sciences, deans of other colleges, student affairs, and postgraduate school, directors of institutes and academic centers, the head, Department of Chemistry, other heads of departments, members of the University Senate, all academic and non-teaching staff, members of Dari family, all special guests and friends of the university, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, great Funabites, great Funabites. Thank you very much. We feel your presence. Introduction. Hailing from Ire in Oshun State, Professor Enoch Olugbe Ngadari was born to the family of late Bishop Amos Shobalaji Dari and late Princess Mulikat Rachel Dari Nebankole more than five decades ago. Professor Dari started his primary education at Aipate Baptist High School, Iwo, in 1973 which he finally completed at Methodist Primary School, Isale Aru, Oshobo, in 1979. Between 1979 and 1984, he was at Ataoja High School, Oshobo, for his secondary education. Professor Dari backed bachelor and master's degrees in chemistry of the University of Ilone in 1989 and 1992, respectively. On Japanese, Mumbusho Scholarship, he proceeded to Tokyo Institute of Technology, where he backed a master's degree equivalent advanced research diploma in chemical engineering in year 2001. Professor Dari obtained a PhD degree in chemistry at University of Ilone in year 2005 through research activities at University of Ilone, Tokyo Institute of Technology, Japan, and Institute of Chemistry, Academia Sinica, Taipei, Taiwan. He joined Federal University of Agriculture, Abeokuta in the year 2009 as lecturer two, and rose through the ranks and file to become a professor of material science and nanotechnology. As of today, record, as Tatnano has it that Professor Dari Inokulubenga is the first and only professor of nanotechnology in Nigeria. He has, thank you, 
He has won several world top international research fellowships. Through international cooperation, he has been to almost all continents of the world, having visited 27 countries. <laughs> Professor Dari is a UNESCO fellow, a Japanese Mumbusho fellow, Yusami Fulbright fellow, Taiwanese Science Foundation fellow, Nano Afnet fellow, and a regular visitor to ICTP in Triste, Italy, and a highly rated fellowship of German Alexander von, von Humboldt Fellowship, which also additional confers on him another special fellow of SCIAS in Wolfsburg University, Germany. Professor Dari is at the forefront of nanotechnology research in Africa. The roles he played in the 2006 Nigerian Nanotechnology Initiative inauguration, which brought nanotechnology into limelight in Nigeria, for which he was invited as a major resource person, prompted his national assignment to train Nigerian scientists, professors, and industrialists on the practicality of nanotechnology in the year 2009. Good to mention that two of our professors in FUNAB were selected to be trained in this five-day workshop, which was nationally sponsored. Professor Dari has made excellent research contributions in almost all aspects of nanotechnology, and that has made him not only an innovator, but also an inventor. As part of his sustainable contributions, a team he led discovered novel nanoemulsified phytodrug for effective transdermal treatment of diabetes type 2. We also should understand that transdermal patch mode via skin is an alternative to oral drug administration. And for this, Professor Dari has received approval to proceed on placebo control clinical trials of the novel phyto drug for diabetes treatment in the year 2017. Professor Dari also exported the concept of nano forensic to Regensburg University, Germany, where he innovatively developed novel fluorescent nanohybrids for efficient detection and imaging of human fingerprinting and consumer goods and anti-counterfeiting, which are aids to securities. This research output in particular prompted highly rated Heisenberg German professor David Dias to visit chemistry department FUNAB in the year 2018. It is noteworthy that the governing council of FUNAB in 2014 considered Professor Dali to be worthy of a commendation worded as breaking new ground in chemistry commendation. Overall, Professor Dari is the author of over 100 scientific publications, including articles, books, and patents. His articles have been well cited, and he has given over 30 invited lectures, both plenary and keynotes, nationally and internationally. He has produced 11 doctorate degree holders in industrial chemistry, and some of them have gained tenure at prestigious institutions nationally and internationally. Two of his mentees are now in the professorial cadre. Administratively, Professor Dari was former coordinator of chemistry department in FUNAB and former head of department of chemistry in FUNAB. Of course, he was former acting director of academic planning at Federal University, Lafia, where he pioneered the strategic planning activities of that university. Professor Dari is a member of several professional bodies and has served FUNAB not only in departmental headship, but also as member of several committees, including Equipment Maintenance Committee, IFSERA Board, and Students Disciplinary Committees. In conclusion, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Professor Inokulu Bengadari is married and blessed with three children. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
It is my pleasure to invite Professor Enoch Olubenga Oladepodare from the Department of Chemistry to present his inaugural lecture titled Nanotechnology, the size-powered harbinger of the 21st century technological breakthrough revolution. Thank you for your attention and God bless you all. Prof. This people will not. You can then control it. It's a short pitch. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. Don't worry. We'll give you this one if you, if you can. No, it's not what it comes. Yeah, it's not working. I might mean, just try. Uh, it's controlling the slide, so we're using your uh, own slide from there. Mm -hmm. okay, so, uh, so we use the one, the one there because it's not, it's not working on this. The Vice Chancellor, sir. Deputy Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, the Bursar, the University Librarian, members of the University Governor Council, members of the University Senate, Chief Executives of other institutions that are there, Dean. College of Physical Sciences, Dean of other colleges, student affairs and postgraduate school. Director of our institutes, center and unit, F, Department of Chemistry, other head of departments, president, member of the professional association, eminent scholars, academics, all non teaching staff, my lost preacher, representatives of professional associations, family and friends, special guests, students of primary, secondary, and special schools, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, great Funabai. Great Funabai. Great, 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 great Jun Funabai. 
I'm indeed grateful to God for the grace given me to stand before you today to present the 78th inaugural lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abel Kuta. This is certainly the third inaugural lecture from the Department of Chemistry and the fifth from the College of Physical Sciences. This is the first inaugural lecture from the first professor of nanotechnology in Nigeria. And these have an honor and recognition that this is coming from nowhere else other than the Department of Chemistry for now. However, I must note it with recognition and honor that that Professor Latif Agbaje, a friend from nanotechnology, a friend and a great nanotechnology scholar also, is a professor of microbiology from Laotech, has previously given inaugural lecture centered on nanobiotechnology. I give him this honor. The inaugural lecture presentation of today is a collection of all aspects of nanotechnology, nanomaterials, nanocomposites, nanohybrids, nanoporous membrane, nanosensor, nanomedicine, nanoengineering, nanobiotechnology, nanoagriculture, nanocomputational, in which I have made significant contribution to knowledge. Before I start the lecture, I have to introduce you to what you call chemistry because chemistry interplay and is a link between, there's a link between chemistry, nanotechnology and material science. And what we do in chemistry is to manipulate materials. We manipulate atoms and molecules to create. And what we do, we also study this matter by studying its structural activities. We also study the composition of matters and uh, as well, what we do as a chemist is that we are just more or less an artist. Artist in the sense that we create. We create what is today, what is tomorrow, and what is there forever. As we mean manipulate atoms and molecules, we are the makers of almost everything. Perhaps you will believe with me the divisions of chemistry, they are physical chemistry, inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, analytical chemistry, biochemistry. And if we say that that division is limited, limit, limited to this, we are saying that the scientific world of research activity is not dynamic. It means we are not moving forward. And we have to say that the, this division is limited to this. We have to call somebody like Professor Croto, the inventor of fullerene and say, what we have done is not correct. And uh, that's underpinning the fact that there is dynamism in the research activity. And to say that division of chemistry is not limited to this. In chemistry, what we do is uh, we work on the covalent bond to make molecules, but it goes beyond that. We now have a division, we call it nanochemistry. Nanochemistry involves the use of supramolecular molecule, supramolecular system. And super molecular system, which involves the van der Waals, the pipeline stacking interaction, and which involves dipole dipole system, it allows us to engage in what we call self assembly. By the self assembly protocol, it's possible for you to nano size anything you want to do on heart. Therefore, chemistry is the paradigm of the fusion of nanotechnology. What is not chemistry? Is there anything that is not chemistry? If you say there's nothing, it means there is no existence of human being. As we said, matter is anything that has weight and occupies space. As you are here this morning, you are more or less a matter. But chemical processes occurring you and that's why you are living. So matter, matter is very important and that's why what is not chemistry it does not exist. And that is to say chemistry can does be considered as the study of everything, as there's nothing on heart that is not matter and hence chemistry. What is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is the creation of useful functional materials, device system, through manipulations of matter. 
and we manipulate we manipulate this matter at a at a, at, a, at a critical scale. That scale we call between one to one hundred nanometer. And what we do is that we explore this novel phenomenon and properties, physical, chemical, biological, mechanical, electrical, at the nanoscale. And when we do these manipulations of matter at this size, what we are saying is that we are going small for big advances. What is nano? One nanometer is equal to 10 to raise to tower minus nine, which means a billion of a meter. So if the size of the sea were one meter, then one nanometer would only be of the size of a droplet. And if you look at it, if a nanoparticle was the size of a football, then a virus that you cannot see would be as big as a person. Therefore, virus that we cannot see, for example, coronavirus, which is a gas about 100, 100 nanometer. If we add about a billion to it, multiplied by a billion, it can be a tennis ball that we can see. You can imagine how small of what we are talking about. Therefore, liposome, liposome that was used to solve the COVID-19 nanovirus and nanovaccine is as small as one nanometer. Also, fluorine is as small as one nanometer. If we look at some area diagram to explain it, let's assume that we take a cube and we allow it to be one centimeter, one centimeter by length. And uh, for one centimeter by length, the surface area of the cube would that be six centimeter cube squared. That is not making any touch. If we make the size, we cut it down and we make it one millimeter each, we have a surface area of 60 centimeter square. You can see that is making an impact. But the size, go ahead and make that size one nanometer each. You are not talking about 60 million centimeters square. You can see the coverage that you have in there. It means that that's how you have that particular mat materials or matter having contact here and there. So surface area, the volume ratio becomes very crucial in nanostructure. And that is a factor underlying the reactivity, the functionality of such material. It means when you do this, you have unprecedented property enhancement, not only that one alone. When you move from nano macro to nano, the quantum phenomena becomes dominant, opaque substances become transparent, stable material turn combustible, insoluble material becomes soluble, a material such as gold, which is chemically inert, <coughs> now become active. And uh, we can see that the surface area, the volume rate become very crucial the quantum phenomenon become dominant and the classical physics become nullified. At that level, you can then have effective as the size become, as it become reduced drastically. The amount of, 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 of a molecule you have at the, at the periphery, at the outside becomes enlarged and high. Therefore, you enhance reactivity. If we look at aspect ratio, becomes very important when we are talking about nanostructure. We have one that, uh, wide dimension, two dimension, zero dimension, three dimension. So if you have high aspect ratio, like a rod, uh, like a wire, is able to have a more, more contact than a spiral. All these are factors that are important in nanostructuring. Several years back, Baden, Bratton, and Sockling in 1956 predicted the coming era of nanotechnology. And of course, Gordon Moore also predicted the coming era of nanotechnology where he predicted that predicted that when the transistor would be scaled down to at least nine nanometer, that result in a chip with billions of transistors that will be produced. Today, Intel Draco, Intel technology is at 20 nanometer. With that 20 nanometer, they can, they, they can make billions of transistors. Where they are going is 14 nanometer. Advanced miniaturization was predicted years back. We can see the big computer several years back, integrated computer system of combat. And now we have the small computer. That is the aspect of advanced miniaturization. We are, can also see, also see that the computer we use several years back, you can see how big it is. Today we are having small, as small as it is, we are talking of uh, a lot, surface area to volume ratio become high, the microprocessor become enhanced and the, 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 the way the phone work becomes 
uh, 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 extremely uh, very strong than ordinary. <coughs> the first generation nanomaterial becomes very important in the year 1985. Arakroto invented foliary, which was one nanometer. In the year 1991, Sumio Ijima invented carbon nanotube, which, which range between 0 0.8 to 1 nanometer. And then 2010, Andrew Gren, a physics model winner, invented graphene. If we put them all together, we we'll find that all this one has translated to advanced material for technology revolution. And the advancement in technology we have today is an index of all this material development. I'm very pleased to tell you that I was privileged to be with Arakoto several years back at Washington DC. And that's the picture there. They're the inventor of uh, chemistry Nobel winner, the inventor of fullerene. So what are you talking about in the, in the way we produce these nanoparticles? We have the bottom hop, which is the way of the chemist. We are with you, we talk about the self-assembly, we build it molecule from the combined molecules, little by little, and you have it combined to have a nanostructure. And the wave of the engineers, the little graphics and many other things evolve, you have the buck one and you decide to scale it down. You break it down to the pieces. So those are the two major basics that we use in nanostructuring. Applications of nanotechnologies, they are diverse, which I cannot explain today. Energy storage, we have it in metallurgy, electronics, the optical engineering. We have it in agriculture and food, the cosmetics, paints, biotechnology, textile, and so on and so forth. All these things have led to the so-called industrial revolution that we have today. Important milestone of nanotech in the 21st century. There are many, but let me just mention the striking one. As many of us that are here today that have been vaccinated, you have benefited strongly from the importance on the application of nanotechnology. It will not be possible to have the nano vaccine they made, if not because of the lipid nanoparticles. They use the lipid nanoparticles to encase the M -A -M -A RNA, and that made it possible for a read to penetrate the cell. So you have, you should be able, I mean, for the source of this, of this, of the, of the COVID-19 vaccine lies strongly on nanotechnology. My research contributions to knowledge. I have been involved actively in all aspects of nanotechnology. I have taught all aspects of material science, ceramic metals and uh, uh, metals and polymers. And I've been able to take my nanotechnology to all level that you can ever mention, including computational DFT calculations. And uh, let me just, because of my time, highlight and give you a little thing. Uh, we have polyhydraulic cuisine, which is as small as 1.5 nanometer. This material has a dielectric of about 2.2. And it has been a wonderful material that has been used by the IBM computer, the computer chips and many other things. But unfortunately, to synthesize it was a big problem. They were able to synthesize this kind of a, this kind of uh, nanomaterial, 1.5 and very, very small, just about six percentage. And then we move in, so in 2006, Dari and Olatoji moved in 2006 to develop a modified procedure. And that was modified procedure necessitated that we, 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 we do it under less acidic condition. And uh, the breakthrough is that we were able to get 41%. We also applied it on so many other things and we were able to get several high yield eventually. And I've taken my functionalized POSS, let me call it this time around, to several applications. Daria taught 2021, Daria, Daria 2022, 2023, we have been able to develop forensic material that can detect fingerprinting and it can detect fingerprinting strongly. We have also worked on the security and notification track information, anti counterfeiting and quick response barcode development. We have also worked on fluorescent and calorimetry sensor, Darietor 2023. And we can see that the, the, the way we functionalize it majorly follows the order of the Nobel laureate of 2022. We have been doing this work for the past 10 years. I've been in click chemistry, and click chemistry is a sustainable way of doing work. work, work. Basically, it involves uh, an alkene and then uh, an azide. 
and uh, through cyclo uh, additions, you can get a trazo that link up the two things you are talking about. So I have taken that to functionalize most of my team. And if you look at the POSS was used to develop flood, uh, uh, fingerprinting, which effectively can form a means of identify a person. We have also used it for anti counterfeiting on Nigerian, uh, on Nigerian note. Nigerian 1000 note, you can see how they, they, they have their own there, the anti, uh, the anti counterfeiting is there. We were able to do our own, which we can stand the test of time for a very long time. You can see my name there that you cannot see it, you can then see it. That formed a way of uh, an anti counterfeiting. And of course, we have also developed what we resume barcode. Our first labor POS is notification and tracking information. That was assessed by scanning the QR code with the camera built in the smartphone and processing the image with QR code scanner application. We were able to have a lot of uh, publication there. And we have also used Rodamine label POS for colorimetry and fluorimetry fingerprinting detection effectively. You can see the amino acid can easily coordinate with the triazo, which sends the fingerprint and you have your fingerprint image effectively. And uh, the ridges ending, the warp, the bifurcation, everything can be made feasible, which is also very fantastic means of identification. We have used Rudamine label POS for polymetry and polymetry meta sensor. It was able to sense zinc and uh, uh, copper. Both metals are biologically important to every human being. Polymetry also, polymetrically also, we were able to send the same meta using that system. We were able to use hydrolyzated POS for hydraulic lubricant and special glasses effectively. <laughs> and our lubricant work effectively with most of the commercial lubricant that we have. And we have also used it to produce silicon of the carbide, a special glasses. Actually, this is a particular one I presented in, uh, in the uh, Norris Dev 2004, 2005, that made UNATO win the award. The assessor saw it for the first time. They raised an eyebrow that, oh, nanotech is coming from UNAP. We won an abroad that because I saw kids that thing. Our exceptional nanotechnology research contribution and they have on the lubricant, the water purification, uh, the, 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 the spill oil, oil speed management, the phyto drugs, and the finger mark. I'm very sorry the system is not working effectively as I thought. Yeah, sustainable nanotechnology have done effectively using nanoporous membrane to develop water purification. Of course, we have patent that is a South African patent treaty. And we have also worked out to develop nanoporous solvent using prototype, I mean, we got prototype for crude oil space cleanup. And we have worked on uh, drugs too. And basically what we do is to recycle, get some of the waste we have in Nigeria and uh, using sustainable nanotechnology, we were able to develop materials that can subsidize circular economy. My contribution to the development of prototype based on nanoporous membrane and nanofiber solving. You can see that these are the problem we have in Nigeria, two major problems, the general one, which involves the polluted water here and there, and we have the one, peculiar one, which is crude oil contaminated in the Niger Delta region. Dari and Sobo, 2011, Dari and Olubayo, 2017, have developed technology that can, uh, that can effectively work on it. What the first stage, you can see how we process the clay and the sawdust to obtain this water filter. And uh, I, div I presented that result uh, in the World Academy of Science and I met these big uh, scholars. That's Professor Igwe, the uh, President Vice Chancellor of the University of Nigeria in Zuka, and former Vice Chancellor of Unilag, late Professor Bidakobi. After the presentation, initially, Baba called me, both of them called me, I said, Dari, you have made name. You have been able to develop technology. How can you now move to the second stage so that when you produce it, come to my lucky house and come and test it? So I came back to Nigeria to come and work on this, and we decided to add another thing to nanocast that one with nanoporous membrane. And we were able to develop this prototype that you can see here effectively, and we tested it. We can see the number of days we have there. You know, that's the way we did it. And then we, when we compare the, the stage one and stage two, we can see that stage one has a little error as highlighted there. And then 
When we tried to nanocast it, we were able to solve it eventually, thoroughly, and we developed a formula for it. See, in that, in that, uh, using that system, we're able to have a technology. So we were able to also conduct a field study on the use of clay ceramic, uh, which involved uh, socioeconomic education and BRS studies. We went to a wager, we distributed we the water filter free of cost to all of them, and we evaluated their eight after one year to get some results. And these are what we have done. Uh, we, work, we, we, we got the prototype that can work effectively. We have prevented several fora. This that's how I presented it uh, before the NUC assessor who assessed me. And uh, I also presented it to Governor Wiki at that time. He was the commissioner of state that was standing Why I was developed, I was demonstrating the technology. Eventually, technology, the, the technology ended up an, in an award. <laughs> And that's the award as the second best, the award as the sec award as the second best in Nigeria under, under technology development. I mean, that award was given by National University, National University Commission. And that prompted them to put me on here on AIT and NTA for about six months while I develop while I uh, explain the technology to the public. Also, we look at it, we have been able to solve the problem of the water purification. I want about the oil spillage at the Niger Delta. So that is the second area we now decide to use. You can see the problem that Niger Delta has. We have our question, can we put more consolidated effort to maximize sustainability by using waste and biomass? Can we offer reusable material platform? Finally, we generated, can we generate switchable surfaces? We believe that we can. And the game changer is surface chemistry. <laughs> which have to be development of super oleophilic and super hydrophobic services. Now, I put a PAD to work on it in UNAB here. Yeah? That is now Dr. Samson Alaidi, an associate professor, my own mentee of the uh, Minnesota University in the United States of America. And uh, we work, what we do it was, it was to lower the service energy and to increase roughness significantly. By using that discarded way we call it expanded plus polystyrene, we were able to develop a nano five brush solvent with contact gargle of 155 degrees. That's incredible. Meaning that it can never allow water to go, but will allow the oil to flow. So we integrated it in a, in, in a full technology. And you can see how it works like that to, to develop that. And we work further, you can, you can see crude oil, water can be separated easily. Emulsified waste water can be separated easily. And um, we, we were able to develop a full-fledged technology whereby people in the Niger data can just take their water, put it here at the end. You can separate it, water will go, clean water will go to the water tank and the oil will go to the oil tank. And if you do that, they can have effective water uh, purification of the oil contaminated region. This has ended us in two patents. Interestingly, the first patent goes to the United States of America patent treaty. Work in UNAP can go to United States of America state patent treaty. It's an, it's, it's an incredible adventure. Daria and Alaya, they also developed the second patent to which goes to our own patent, it's called Nota Pedding. And if you look at the record there, for the past, for almost 10, or close to 15 years, there has never been any patent from Nigeria except our patent that is listed there. You can find out. We also have six other publications to support that. And we have looked at synthesis of silver, mercury, palladium, cobalt, nanoparticle, and its hybrid in all dimensions. So that, uh, all these hybrids are very important because of diagnostic, biological, optical imaging, biological implants, they are very important. They are dresses and bandages. They can also interact with HIV. So if that is the case, these are the things we have done. We have used chemical systems, synthetic method. We have used biological, or green synthesis to develop silver nanoparticle, silver nanoparticle and its hybrid, silver cobalt, silver nickel, silver ketosine, silver zinc oxide, silver uh, uh, gold, silver, and so on and so forth. Dairy and Adeco, 2015, 2017, 2018, Dairy and Labula, 2016, Dairy and Soda, Soda and Day, 2016, that is mercury sensor, humidity sensor, we have done humidity sensor. Dari and Danu 2023, Dari and Sunday 2016, Dari and Alani 2016, Dari and Gumba Sam, Dari and Akisu 2016. I want to tell you, I am pleased to tell you that we have over 40 publications on this area alone. Over 40 publications, we cannot explain it now in this forum.
I'm very sorry, this system. So we have developed different level of morphology that are there. Now we have also developed humidity sensor based on porous hybrid HC. What we do is to take the server and cover it with zinc oxide. We make it porous and become porous, it can sense. It is able to sense humidity effective, which is very important in agricultural practices. And we got the nano rod that is covered. We have the got the nano sphere that is covered. And uh, we developed the, the sensor chamber. The sensor chamber, using that equation, we were able to de determine the, the sensitivity, the selectivity, the linearity, and said, which work effectively with commercial sensor. These humidity sensors can be used effectively and be sustainable uh, for our system. I'm sorry that I'm waiting because of the system. I want everything to flow. So we have also used the high OT enabled system, nano electronic system with wireless data communication. And this is more or less electrical engineering. That's the nanotechnology. If you are nanotechnology, you are everything. You are an engineer, you are an agriculture scientist, you are biologist, you are everything. And this is more or less electrical engineering. And what we do is to improve Wi-Fi transmitter and receiver. And by the time we put that together, it's possible for us to monitor a home. I put a master student there that is uh, Adamu, and this one handle is a very fantastic publication as you can see. And uh, my contribution is drug design and delivery for diabetes treatment. Diabetes mellitus is a chronic metabolic disorder characterized by high blood glucose level caused by high as a result of insufficient genes in insulin production by the pancreatic B cell. And we have the type one and type two. And so far the excessive medicine for the uh, diabetes mellitus are very preparation of insulin and oral anti apogenic glycemic. If you have to use oral medication, it does not bypass the first bars metabolism. And we have uh, an alternative to the which is transdama. So we have the transdama drug delivery, facilitate the passage of therapeutic quantity of drugs substance through the skin and to the general circulation of the systemic system. Diary and Akisi 2020, Diary at 2020, Diary and 2017 have been able to work to develop transdama drug delivery. If we compare oral delivery, intravenous delivery, and transdama delivery, you find that transdama is by far better than all other delivery. And uh, we, I put a doctoral student there, that is Dr. Basira at Akisipo, one of my mentees who have graduated also to work on this. I'm saying that this is a work from Hunfunab. And using that, all these phyto drugs that are extracted from various plants, Based on the profile insulin insulinometric profile, ability to, mo mo to modulate multiple diabetes relevant protein. Uh, you can see that metformin cannot modulate several proteins. It can only modulate one. But the most of it can modulate many of them. And using, looking at the fact that it can be nano acidified and looking at toxicology profile, we were able to use nano emulsion to encase the global to be, and then we study diabetic induction pharmacokinetic, pharm uh, pharmodynamics, glycemic control, plasma goes close monitoring, insulin sensitivity and beta cell function, histopathology evaluation, all these things we have carried out. And we've now we applied on the, on the rat skin to, uh, for, uh, to study. And we find out that the blood glucose lower effect of the drug in an animation on the upper, upper glycemic rat was a fantastic result. And that's a very wonderful thing that we got. We also look at the protective role of this gene against apart glycemic mediated cerebral isomic brain injury in separate feed model of type 2 diabetic mellitus. We find out that this gene selectively lower the blood glucose concentration in, in upper glycemic, glycemic induced diabetic continuum. It improves the weight and growth pattern of diabetes several feeds and also the play and art catalytic activity. This study set for the possibility and potential of this gene as anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, neuroprotective agent, and can work effectively. We were able to get two patents in this work. Nota patent and a South Africa patent, and several other uh, 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 publications. We have been given a, 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 an approval to go on placebo control clinical trial of the nano MS5 pathograph for diabetes management. This is my contribution to the global community in 2004 and 2005. I was part of those, uh, among those that made FUNAP to win that award in that year, because they were seeing that for the first time. I was a major resource person in Nigeria Nanotechnology Initiative, Nigeria, we brought, I brought nanotech into the line, line Nigeria. 
I was a trainer of nanotechnology, nationally appointed to train scientists, academic and those of the practical of, and that was me demonstrating the technology to people. I was a known resident in 2012, research and development awardee. I was an awardee of that team. Nazan Laute, 2022, I'm happy for Professor uh, Agbaye that is here today. I was made to train several members of the armed forces up to the level of Major General. They are interested in nanotechnology. So we taught them, we trained them, how did they do it? I want to tell you that I've also facilitated the coming of the, a very big German professor. He came to UNAP, I invited him, he came to Nigeria, UNAP. He was able to, uh, to deliver lectures and to do many things. Well, thank God, I want to appreciate the university for helping me to host him that time. Professor David Diaz. You can see he's such a down to heart human being that he was able to go to United School and play with the children. I, I mean, a professor of that nature did that. And uh, we can see at the end of it all, I call all my mentees all over the world to come down to play with David Diaz. We ended up in Swiss Sensation to have a, a merriment. I want to tell you that this for that, um, I've been internationally recognized among the world nanotechnologies. And that is the picture, as you can see there, recognized among the world nanotechnology of today. That's me there at the center. In conclusion, Mr. Fan Chancello, the technology in part of the very small team, vis a vis the side power binga, is underscored by the mentioned various unique contribution in nanotechnology, which are revolutionized advanced material, sensors catalysis, nanoporous membrane, drug delivery, drug design. As nanotechnology is truly size of power of binger, I've used all the strategic style to create novel nanoparticles as small as 1.5 nanometer, demonstrated on precedented property with multifunctional application. In particular, my contribution in development nanoforous something for crude oil cleanup and spill remediation is awesome, leading to the first ever nanotechnology patent coming from Nigeria and USA patent treaty. Moreover, I've developed effective antiglycemic, antidiabetic nanoemulsified phytodrop, possessing multi ducking character with diabetic protein and isometry. The recent sort of COVID 19 MRA is because of nanotechnology. The global landscape of nanoclay retail development has created a picture that highlights the extent to which the nanomation of the team has captured the mind of several national governments to key to, I mean, to, as key to program. Russian President Vladimir Putin stressed that Russia needed an innovative army using nanotechnology to keep up a new high-tech arms. Former United States President Barack Obama stated the potential of technology revolution has inspired grand claim about its promises for development and progress to mankind. Finally, nanotechnology represents a tip of the pyramid that is uncovered from the south of Ecuador. As scholarly activities all over the world dig this sand to uncover the giant stride of a small particle, which I see how exciting to have its size, power, a binge of the next technology and industrial revolution. We are talking about the first revolution, which was based on steam engine and textile. We are talking about the second revolution, which was based on railway, steel, and industry. We are talking about the third revolution, which is based on electrical engine, heavy chemical. We had the fourth revolution, that is 1950s, Synthetic organic chemical and computer. Fifth revolution is a revolution of the nanotechnology and molecular manufacturing. Each industrial revolution is marked by major changes, a key step in social, political, and economic history. Changing is coming, and molecular manufacturing vis a vis industrial revolution. The combined impact of nanotechnology will equal the industrial revolution of the last two centuries, but with all that changes, compresses into just a few years. My recommendation. My recommendation is a vice chancellor. To be part of this technology revolution, our country may adopt the following practical action, plan step, needful to establish a robust and regulatory program. This includes, but not limited to, the first one goes to FUNAC, as there is a dear need for Institute of Nanotechnology and Advanced Material. As mentioned earlier, nanoproduct exhibited in nano, uh, no 2004-2005 raised the eyebrow assessor 
and he considered one of the reasons for the award given to Funab on those two occasions. During my sabbatical in Philadelphia, I exhibited another dimension of nanoporous material. A two-year-old university was given an award just but because of nanotechnology. The preclusion of this is that is in, the, in the view of is, is that nanotechnology is a strategic concept underpinning next industrial revolution. <clears throat> Therefore, FUNAB should not be left out of this. Secondly, FUNAB, as we said, the ball rolling by having work done on the soil of FUNAB, registering a world class patent free to USC. I recommend that our university to establish scholars' office of patent, intellectual property protection and partnership. This will facilitate business development of research output. For our nation, Nigeria, the Department of Nanotechnology should be created under Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation with budgetary allocation to coordinate and oversee the general field of nanotechnology. For Nigeria to be part of the technology revolution coming from nanotechnology, Center of Excellence in Nanotechnology with the state of the art equipment relevant to R&D nanotechnology should be established. In this regard, appropriate policy and plans to back up nanotechnology is urgently needed. South Africa, Egypt have already had their plan in nanotechnology. Envying and imitating those who have succeeded in life is, synonym, is not synonymous to weakness. However, building on their success story is tantamount to advancement. Nigerians who also build on the success story on the success story of United States of America, Japan, Germany, to take our country to the next technological revolution through nanotechnology. Acknowledgement. The ultimate measure of a mind is not at the time of convenience, abundance, and merriment, but the time of controversy and challenges. I give God time for making, giving me this opportunity. I appreciate all the vice chancellor and the university, and I thank Professor B. Oyewoli during most time I became the professor. I'm also grateful to our current vice chancellor, Professor Olu Solabad, who made it possible for me to give this 2078 series of FUNAB inaugural lecture. I will equally appreciate the principal of the university, Professor Siani Kyobi, the DBCA, Professor Kala Debayo, the DBCD, Dr. H. Adeka, the registrar, Mr. Equiasu, the bursa, and the Professor N. Onifade. I thank the Dean College of Physical Science, Professor Tiki Akiwali, for giving me the privilege and the further encouragement to present this inaugural lecture. I also thank all the past deans and colleges. The entire college member, board academy, non academy, acknowledge. I offer special appreciation to the past head, my colleagues, technology in the part of chemistry. In this regard, let me thank the present head of the department, Professor Seri, who are there with you, who encouraged me for this lecture. Thank you very much. I thank the university community, member of the ASU, SANO, NASU, and NAT, for their past and present contribution to, to my success. My special appreciation goes to Professor H. A. Bubble, the chairperson. I'm very happy and I want to thank you sincerely. I wish to acknowledge my teacher. I wish to acknowledge my teacher. Uh, let me, uh, before my teacher, I want to appreciate those who have been playing a role in nanotechnology alongside with me. Professor Latifa Bajen uh, uh, and uh, Professor Fibian, uh, Professor Fibian, Lee uh, Baba Tope. My mentor, Professor Grebe Ademola Latuji, former DVCD, University of Hillary. I don't know what I need to do. Maybe I need to thank you and lend down for how you have done. You have done incredibly to me to lead my life to this level. The, my so-called internationalization that you are talking about is because of him. So many things, he has given me the gift of life to be able to be a great scientist synthetically. In the area of synthetic chemistry, I don't have problem whatsoever. And that I've translated into nanotechnology. He used to call me a man that trained himself. That was the slogan he gave me. A man that trained himself. So I left the saw of synthetic uh, of, of thing to go to nanotechnology because I believe in doing a new thing. I want to appreciate you, Baba. Thank you so much. I appreciate your loving kindness for giving me this beautiful opportunity. I want to appreciate my international uh, people, Professor Takeshi Siono, Arigato Gosaimas, uh, no name in Thank you so much for your contribution to my life. Uh, I want to thank the Institute of Chemistry Academy in Taipei, Taiwan, Professor Lincoln Liu, for giving the opportunity to work with him. At one point in time, he was such an incredible man. I want to thank the Princeton University in New Jersey. And that's me, Dian. And I want to thank especially Professor uh, Register, 
for giving the opportunity to work with him. I want to thank Professor David Diaz, a man down to the heart. This professor, of SFS professor, came to you now and played with children. And he was kissing our children. He loved them. And that is fantastic. I want to thank you so much for being here. Uh, uh, danke, uh, danke, danke, Shan. I want to thank the third, uh, Ms. Professor Todd Mada and those who that work together in Germany as some boss scholar. My mentor, I have mentored several experts. I want to thank Joseph Rikoya, Dr. Sansia Layade, Paul, Dr. Mrs. Bola Akwisiku, Dr. Ken Desuden. All of them, we are here. Please stand up, let them recognize you. Dr. Sunde, you know who? And Dr. Mrs. Basira, those are schools. I have supervised their doctorate. I have 11 doctoral students, but that's where I can put here. For those who are here, I recognize them. Thank you very much. Thanks for supporting me for making this a brilliant success. I really love you all. My parents and my siblings, I want to thank my father and my mom, my late bishop, Emo Sokolaji Dari, who made me what I am. My brother, Kayode Dari, this is here today, Adediji. My mother of today, I call him Mrs. Fumelaya Bangbade. I love you, I love you, I love you so strongly. She has been an epito, easy a bit, they have been one of those that made me to become what I am today. Uh, my family, I want to I thank my children, my wife, I'm well seen, and my beautiful children that are here, they have performed incredibly. I, I want to thank you, Ima, I want to thank you so much for being with me. I've graduated and moved through, through from the small to the, my school days and to where I am and to where I am today. I want to thank God for giving this opportunity to be there. For the day. Thank you very much. I want to thank uh, my father, who also be part of me, my best friend, Mr. Benga Dari. My very good friend, who we, we grew up together. And uh, Mr. Bodeola today, I want to thank you so much for being part of my life. You have been an incredible giant in my life. Engineer Olawali Olasi Day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know how to greet you. You have done well in my life. I appreciate you so greatly. I want to thank you, my in-law, Mr. Funsho Bangbade. Please, recognition. Thank you very much. Thank you for being there with me. The late Elijah Suleiman Amusak. I want to thank you, Ms. Amda Adepoju, Mrs. Sifao Raman, Mr. Deyemi Mulsiko. Thank you for being there with me. Thank you so much. Mr. Thompson, so I want to thank you so much for giving this opportunity to be this lecture. Uh, I, I give glory to God for me to be here. And I'm deeply grateful to this university and to the entire system that are here. For those who have come from far and near to be part of this, what we have done today, I want to thank you. I can see Professor Taiwo there. I've not recognized it. I've done so well. Ah, more than anything, Professor ICA Ramasele. I can remember when I was trying, when I was trying, when I when I was trying to learn how to write paper. Baba called me and cheat me. My first paper was yes, journal, uh, uh, that, that beautiful yes, strong no, journal. That you, I mean, is a Polymath. polymer journal, which are uh, willing, and you taught me how to do that. Uh, Professor I see yes. Eramasele. You led me in the way of administration. You hushed me into the airship of the department. I appreciate you so greatly. All my colleagues in academia and those that are here, I want to thank you so much. You have done so much for me. Great Junabai. Great Junabai. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is the end. I want to thank everybody. I'm so grateful. Please, you may have your seats. You may have your seats. Stand here. Stand. Thank you very much. And um, Professor Enoch Olubuengadare. It is with gladness and joy that I present this award of honor to you, Amen. Professor Enoch Olubi Ngadare, as the 78th inaugural lecturer of this university. Dated this day, Wednesday, 21st June, 2023. Congratulations, sir.
Okay, secretary, give a brief report. The meeting has just come to an end. And Florence has done the breakdown. Don't sit down yet. Which one will be given to chairman? Please, we also have this for you from the university. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I want I want I want I I Thank you very much. You have said it now. It's all over. Thank you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we've had a nice time listening to everything about nanotechnology from a professor of material science and nanotechnology from this university, Professor Inoko Lugbe Ngadari. Thank you very much, sir, for the beautiful presentation. Well, we have come to the end of it, but not without appreciating everyone who has come from far and near. Professor Dali has tried to mention everybody. So please just permit me to stand on those appreciations that he has made, but not without mentioning, I mean, not without thanking everyone who came from outside the university, the nanotechnology group, so to say. We welcome you. And please permit me to mention Professor Latif Agbaje because he's the head Lautech Nanotechnology Research Group. Thank you for coming. And everyone connected with nanotechnology research in Nigeria, you are blazing a new trail. And we hope that very soon, the whole country will really join you in this. Thank you very much. I also want to welcome every member of the Dari family. Every member of the Dari family, please stand up for recognition once again. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. God bless you, Sama. God bless you. Of course, I want to specially thank every member of chemistry department. Today is your day, and you have really shown it. Today is your day, and you have shown it. We have the special corner. Kulu Tempa now. You have had your day, and we want to congratulate you. Of course, of particular mention, I want to welcome our former Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Igodalo Clement Eromosele. And please take note of this a former Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Luye Misi. Catherine Erumosele, you are welcome. I didn't say anything. I only welcomed the former Deputy Vice Chancellors of this university. Thank you. And every member of the chemistry department. Of course, all academic staff, deans, directors, principal officers, we want to thank you for making today a reality. And of course, seated in front here is our own Professor Taiwo. Professor Taiwo, you are welcome, a retired professor from this university. Thank you for taking time out to come. Thank you, sir. You are welcome. And um, greatest Funabites, greatest Funabites of the greatest boo boo, boo boo, distinguished guests, it's time to go home. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. We are gradually drawing the curtain for the 78th inaugural lecture of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abel Buta. We appreciate all our guests who have come from far and near. You may move around to see our large green and serene environment. You may visit the zoological garden. You may also visit our Omo Resort. And you can also pass the night 
at our affordable and conducive green, Royal Greens guest house. Ladies and gentlemen, please kindly listen to the following announcement. The procession, which will be in the reverse order, is going to exit through the central hall. Academic staff had to go through the exit A at my right. At my right, guest of inaugural lecturer had to exit through the exit B, through my left. Other guests had to also exit through the central hall while their food will be given to them at the exit. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. May we all rise for the national, for the FUNAB anthem, followed by the national anthem. FUNAB anthem, please. The national anthem, please. The national anthem. Let us remain standing until the procession exits the ceremonial building. Thank you very much. <laughs> 